Why is endometriosis pain so much worse at night for some women? A woman asked this question in a group that I'm in today, and I'm going to give you a little bit more detail, of course, with keeping everything private. She said, why is my pain so much worse at nighttime? And it's been happening the last several months. It's getting worse. She takes ibuprofen before bed most nights, definitely when she's on her period, but she still wakes up in the middle of the night and it's worn off. Maybe has to get more medications, a heating pad, and she tosses and turns for hours to get it back under control to fall back asleep. This is so hard. And this is such a great question. And I want to just give a little bit of information of why this can happen for some women. It depends on the cause of endometriosis. I would address this question from a traditional Chinese medicine perspective. In traditional Chinese medicine, every organ has the opportunity to replenish itself or nourish and rebuild energy in that organ. Within a two-hour window, there's an entire clock, and every two hours it switches around the clock to a new organ. Liver time is 1 to 3 a.m. There's so much to say about this, but to keep it simpler, liver stores blood. It's in charge of circulating, and everything that I'm saying is according to Chinese medicine. So if we get stressed, that can stagnate our blood or create blood stasis. And stagnation is what creates pain in the body. Also with trauma or something like endometriosis or endometrial tissue can create stagnation. So it's like that vicious cycle. It's like what caused it was probably some kind of a stasis or a toxin in the gut stuck in the body. And what I can say about that as a, a visual, if you want to think about it this way, is that picture there's a river flowing and then that really nice fresh clear water in the middle and then on the side there can be some debris or tree branches or leaves or just murky water doesn't look as healthy it's like ugh, slimy sometimes or like deep muddy slime off to the sides that can be representative of the blood in the body okay so things are dying off on the side but sometimes they're just stuck there picture lifestyle changes or self-care or herbal medicines are excellent to move that sludge out of the way and also increase blood circulation, which once everything is freely running or free flowing, then there's no pain or there's less pain and there's more ease in the body and then there's better sleep. So when an organ is not thriving, it will express its imbalance during that two-hour window and beyond Another example is somebody who has asthma. The window is from uh, 3 to 5 a.m. So if somebody has asthma or allergies or something like that, they may wake up coughing or sneezing or wheezing or just really unsettled between that time, 3, 4, 5 o'clock. Okay, just to give you an idea, but there's so many things that can happen around the clock. Let's get back to the liver and endometriosis and blood stasis, which is one of the main reasons or the main causes or pattern diagnoses for endometriosis. Things that help the liver to rebalance and to flow freely is movement and light exercise. And I completely understand that when you're in pain and obviously in the middle of the night, you're not going to get up and start exercising. When the pain subsides throughout the day, I'm not saying to go and take a massive walk or run or anything like that. But when you get breaks in pain throughout the day, or if someone is using ibuprofen or another pain reliever, once you can settle the pain level, it is important to exercise and to get movement, okay? That's one of the th main things that a woman can do to prevent future pain and also to increase blood flow. And then also breathing exercises are excellent to help calm the nervous system and also pain receptors. And not drinking alcohol, not smoking, adding in good things like meditation, breath work, adding in yoga, even singing can be really helpful. And then if you want to look at more foods, then you can look at like dark leafy greens that are steamed or adding in omega-3 fatty acids are excellent for smoothing out endometriosis pain. There's so much more to it. And if you have any questions, please reach out and see the other videos on my channel here. I have a lot of videos on endometriosis, but if you have a specific question about your situation, feel free to reach out and I am happy to reply and help you as well. Thanks for watching.